Kaylee, 941, 32, third, uh, third place. Uh, uh, was it a little, a little bit of a, a surprise or a shock about like how, just how how they how Greta and, and Olivia just decided to, to detach like that? I think coming into the race, I knew like there was some strong leaders up front that might it might push the race a little bit, um, and just like a couple weeks out, had some things that were kind of. Um, getting at me, putting me off my rhythm a little bit, but at the same time, I want to always be focusing on just moving forward through the race. And so, whether you know that's slipping away a little bit, I want to just keep on, you know, as my coach said, just get momentum, move forward, um, get the most out of my body as I can for today. But obviously, I'd, I'd like to be up there and, and contending, um, you know, and whenever I race. But um, I get all like the credit to them, they did really well today. Uh, I mean, I, I really appreciate the fact that like you're staying so focused and locked in, and it's like, hey, you know, even if I can't get, get back up to them, it's like, you know, I know how much pride you have, and it's like, let's make sure that we, that, that we stay in front of everybody else. So, you know, at, at, at some point during the race, did that kind of become like a second, like a secondary motivation? Yeah, I think I know that like some of my strengths are being able to close, and, and I had that in the back of my mind that if they're coming off of it. Um, you know, I might be able to to get them the last, you know, 500 meters last lap. Um, when when that kind of the mindset switch to, you know, you're just going to beat your pack home as you can. Obviously, there's some great runners as well there, but um, that was kind of just the focus for momentum as much as I could. You said you had some things like bothering you in the last few weeks. And what's been bothering you? Um, just had some lower leg injuries the last um, couple years, and. Um, you know, it's always just kind of maintaining them, and, and when something gets a little flared up here or there, it's something you just got to manage. But um, I think everyone has those things coming into it, and so kind of just helping me for, for the future when things aren't quite there, or just people better than me um, want to be able to get the best out of it as I can. So, do you have more eligibility left, or is this it? I do. So, I have two more years to work with. I have one more um, outdoor track season with two indoor and one cross country. So. Um, with the Olympics uh, next year, kind of have to build a plan to to kind of focus um, starting now, pretty much just building up something solid to work with. To get through these two rounds like you did, do you, do you take encouragement like now with Canadian champs in the summer, or is it time to, to take a pause to let the let the body re uh, recover? Um, I think it's like yeah, definitely lots of things to decide in the next couple weeks. But um, Canadians is always on my radar. Obviously, we have um, another Canadian race in this race um, who's also looking towards the similar things I am. So um, I always love racing with Canadians, and, and that would be the goal, just to get in the quality field um, and show maybe more than what, what I had today. But, well, it'll certainly be better climate, Kayla. We can promise you that. Yeah, I, I think we'll get some nice weather, but this makes this makes it challenging, and I think it's always beneficial going forward.